an Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. We are. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! 600 block. I just wanna rap. I just wanna. Ah, 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 ah. I just wanna rap. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Ah, ah, ah. Hit it once. No time. Shut up. Hello, today I'm here with Lily Corwin. I'm a junior, and this is my second year playing varsity basketball. For the past few episodes regarding sports and senior highlights, we haven't seen much of girls' basketball, though we have not forgotten about them. Lily is our only girls' basketball varsity player, and we wanted to take an insight as well as ask a few questions on how it feels to play the role that she does for her team. For my first question, I wanted to take it back a little. How long have you been playing basketball? I have been playing since I was 9 or 10, so 6 or 7 years I've been playing. Okay. Yeah. In a minute. <laughs> and recently, your father has became the head coach for girls basketball. Yeah. How does it feel to have him for like as your coach for the season? It feels good. Um, I really, I really enjoy it. Um, it's like, it's like different, and it's good, um, and it's another way for us to spend time together. So I like it. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Right. Let's talk about the recent playoff game. Who just first? Where was that? The score? Well, we versed <laughs> Mattituck at Mattituck, and we won. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. Uh, we played really well, and I'm very proud of us, so I'm happy for what comes next. Okay, well, speaking <laughs> of what comes next, how do you feel about going for the county championship title? Um, I feel good about it. Um, um, yeah, it's really exciting, um, and it's actually our second year in this position, so. Hoping <laughs> <laughs> we'll to win it this yeah, time. Yeah, hoping to win it. Um, but yeah, I feel really confident in my team. I think we've come really far. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. Now, where is this? Who are you guys versing? We're versing Center Merches in Center Reach, Tuesday, 12 o'clock. Be there. Or be square. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. Okay, that's good. I'm excited for you guys. And along with that, being the only Greenport girl and you're your coach's daughter, <laughs> does it feel like a lot of pressure on you? Like, how does that make you feel? Um, I wouldn't say, like, my dad or anyone puts pressure on me, but I think I put pressure on myself just to, you know, play good for my dad because anyone would want to do that. And, um, you know, got to represent. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> now, do you plan on playing any more sports after this? Calling it a wrap? Um, I'm actually going to play softball after this. So, okay, okay. yeah. That's on to the next. <laughs> I'm excited. Now, in total, how many sports do you play on around the school year? Uh, I play three. So, I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. All right, all right. Well, that's all the questions that we had for you today. All thank right. you for sitting with us. Oh, thank you. I wish you guys good luck for the county championship. Thank you, thank you. And I hope you have a great senior season for next oh, year. Oh, yes, I hope. Hope for the best. <laughs>
This change was likely due to potential lifeguards from people who may not be comfortable with a transgender character. This type of censorship can erase important representation and contribute to a culture of erasure for transgender people.